Hello, we are going to understand a wonderful chapter called as data handling with me, Suresh. Now to understand what do you mean by data handling, we need to know what do you mean by data. Data is any information given to us or it is the collection of information. The information can be number, words, measurements, observation, etc. So it can be any information given to us and that is called as data. All right. Okay. So in this chapter, we are going to completely deal with various data and the ways to represent these data. Okay. Now to understand this better, first of all, we'll consider a group of people working in a company. Okay. And a small survey is being conducted in that particular company based on the state where they belong. So here we have seen that most of the people working in that company belong to Punjab, Gujarat, Kerala and there are few other who belong to some other states. So we have considered it as others. So when we started with the survey, the very first person we have asked and he was from Gujarat. So here the first person is from Gujarat and the other person we have asked and he said he is from Kerala. So here we have recorded the data belonging to Kerala. Now the third person said he belongs to Punjab. So corresponding to Punjab, we have the very first data here. And likewise, we started with our survey. The fourth person said he belongs to the state Gujarat as this is the second data we have written two over here. Same way, there is one more person we have surveyed. The fifth person said he belonged to some other state. So therefore, we have listed corresponding to others. Then again, the sixth person said he belongs to Punjab as this person is the second person who said Punjab. So we have written two here. Likewise, we proceeded with the next person. He said he belongs to Gujarat. So as he is the third person, we have written three over here. Okay, so likewise, we have taken various survey, completed the survey in this particular company and we got various results. So instead of writing one, two, three, the data can be recorded by using a vertical line over here or we can consider various sticks corresponding to various states here. So like in Punjab, we have one stick in Gujarat, then in Kerala. Then again, the second information for Gujarat. Then the next information for Punjab. Again, we have a data for Punjab. Then we have others. Then we have various data for Kerala. Again, we can see there is a data for Punjab. Okay. Also for Kerala, we got a data over here. So likewise, when we proceeded, we got various information. Accordingly, we can record by drawing the sticks this way. Okay. So now here we got the fifth data for Punjab. But when we have the fifth data and we keep on drawing the vertical line this way, it would be difficult for us to add the number of data when we complete the survey. So what we are exactly going to do is the fifth data what we got that has to be represented in a diagonal way or we can say we are going to just draw the slant line over here. So now we can easily say that there are one, two, three, four and five. So the set of five data has to be represented this way. So one, two, three, four. So when we have four data, it has to be represented in a vertical line and the fifth data will be nothing but it has to be represented in the slant way starting from left to right. Okay. So this is very easy for us to add. So we can say there are five data over here. Okay. So now the sticks what we have drawn are nothing but these are actually called as the tally marks. So instead of writing the numbers one, two, three, four and so on, we can easily put the tally marks this way. So it is easy for us to conduct the survey or collect any information and later on we can easily add how to add. Now, if you observe here, we have completed the survey and we got the set of tally marks corresponding to each state. Now, if you observe for Punjab, there are three sets. In the first set, this set represents how many data? Five. And again, in the next set, we can see there are five data. 
and the last set we can see there are four data now it is very easy for us to add 5 plus 5 plus 4 what is that yes it is 10 plus 4 14 so therefore when we have recorded the data in the form of a tally mark it is very easy for us to add same way under Gujarat we have 5 plus 5 plus 2 so 5 plus 5 plus 2 is nothing but it is equal to 12 and for Kerala again we can add the same way it is 5 plus 3 and what is 5 plus 3 it is 8 and same way if we proceed with the last category that is others we can again count 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 so what does it indicate it is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 and that is equal to what 20 so in this way tally marks can be drawn and easily we can able to count and the number what we have got here is nothing but they are called as the frequency corresponding to each category okay so remember when we say frequency table we are going to construct three columns in the first column we are going to write the information second column we are going to write the tally marks and we are going to draw the vertical lines this way and the fifth data has to be recorded in a slant line so that the group of data represent five data okay and the last column is nothing but that is called as the frequency and this is how we'll draw a frequency table